parallel precision Lydney, and those who don't know, that's in Gloucestershire. Come see Elliot here. Her coat is your machine of choice. Why is that? Um, flexibility, being a job shop, we need to set things up quickly, get them out the door quickly. Uh, Herco provide a great package um, within their machine, including tool setting probes, part setting probes, great features at the control to allow us to achieve those goals of getting things out the door. Okay, now this machine, the VM10i, three, well, just talk me through a little bit of the specification of the machine, please. Okay, so it's a three axis mill with X travels of 660, Y of 406, and Z of 500. Um, it's 20 tool station, 10,000 RPM. Uh, we've got a few additional extras on here, like I've already said, the tool setting and part setting probes, and air blast for the machining of materials like mild steel and stainless. Okay. Now, materials you're, you're, you're working, plastics through to? We do plastics right the way through to hardness of about stainless steel. Our primary focus is aluminiums. I'd say that's 80% of what we take on. 15% uh, is plastics, and the rest lies within the harder stuff. Okay. Now, you say you're a job shop. You're looking at jobs from sort of one-offs to thousands off? Yep, so we serve a lot of markets including automotive, um, robotics, telecoms, um, being a job shop, we, we, we do loads, but we do stuff from one-off prototypes right the way through to production of up to three and a half thousand components is, is what we do each quarter at the minute. Okay, and just running you know, three and a half thousand batch of a machine like this, not a problem? Not a problem at all. We recently did a batch of 250 parts for the automotive industry. Um, just credit to the reliability and accuracy of the Herco machine. Uh, throughout that batch of 250 parts, which took three or four days, we didn't make one offset at all on the tool for cutting a very high precision bore. Right, so just let it run and do it. Work its magic, essentially. We trust it. It does its thing, yep. Okay. Now, the number, number of other reasons why you bought the machine. I mean, you're familiar with the control system, touchscreen and everything like that? Continuity throughout the workshop running the control really. Yeah. Um, there's some great features on it like tool numbering system where you can have 9,999 tools. Um, each thousand number from 1,000, 2,000 upwards yeah. is denoted to a particular type of tool and the following three digits denote the size of the tool. So one 100 is a 10 mil rougher. Wow. Um, and that's great working from programming right the way through to setting because whoever's on the machine or whoever's programming in the machine knows what tool is what number. Okay, and that will give you continuity around the machine shop as well? Yeah, it works great for repeat yeah. jobs, setting things up, yeah. identifying what tools are in your carousel really quickly. Yeah. And I'd just like to clarify on that system, it is very simple because even I, even I managed to work out some of the, the tools. You did, it's, it, it is straightforward. You mentioned the tool system, which is fantastic, but the controls themselves, easy to use, intuitive? Very easy to use and intuitive, as you, as you say. There are other systems out there. Um, we chose this to fit in well with the rest of the workshop. It's a very good control at understanding what the user wants. Um, you don't necessarily have to know a lot of code or have an engineering background to be able to program parts to print. So it's also bridging the, the skills gap and helping us bring engineers in that can competently run parts through a, a simple manner of programming. And with that program you mentioned, well, running machine and programming, with this system, you can interrupt it and also you can program while you're running the machine. So two things there. Yeah, two great things there. Interrupt is a fantastic feature. If we're running a one-off part and it's already been pre-machined, let's say, from the customer, we can't afford to scrap it. So we can start with a small tool offset, run, run the bore that we're trying to program, interrupt it, uh, measure the bore, adjust the tool offset, and with just a two buttons, we can carry on the program from where it was running. And as you mentioned about being able to program a part whilst a part's running, that's another great time safe feature. If we're running production of let's say three and a half thousand components, but whilst they're running, we want to be out the control programming the next job in line, that's not a problem. We can do that too. So ultimately this is you know, the whole package is why Herco is your machine of choice. But we haven't mentioned that, you know, when you're buying a machine tool, it is a whole package. What about the guys who are providing you with support? Maybe if you well, things if things should go wrong or if you need some advice. Things rarely go wrong, if I'm honest with you, but um, service department's there to answer any questions. Uh, another great part of Herco is their dedicated apps team. So if I'm or any of the guys are unsure of any features uh, in terms of what the machine is capable of, let's say, for instance, tool breakage detection, um, if that's something we hadn't implemented, we'd be able to call the apps team, ask them how does it work, on the phone or via email, they can get back to us very quickly with um, a great set of instructions of 
if the machine is capable of it, how to implement that. Elliot, it's a great overall view of the Herco VM10i. Thank you very much. That's Parallel Precision and the machine of choice, the Herco. Thank you. Thank you.